If you know the position, velocity, and orientation of a quadcopter, can you predict where it will be next? Better yet, can you predict all possible places it could be in, say, one second? That's exactly what we solve in our paper. Our contribution is to calculate the time-limited reachable set, the set of all possible position states reachable by the quadcopter in time t. These sets use equal time contours to show the reachable set. These contours are called isochrones. If you are ever flying a drone around drones controlled by others, knowing the isochrones enables planning for collision avoidance. Here, we know the trajectory of our drone, but not the future path of the uncontrolled drone. The first possible collision is at 1.19 seconds. Knowing the reachable set is also useful for drone countermeasures, such as capturing or destroying a rogue drone. Our paper gives tight upper and lower spherical bounds on the reachable set. We determine the set of time-limited positions reachable by a quadcopter by using a simplified 2D model for quadcopter dynamics. This popular model is used to determine the set of candidate optimal control sequences to build the reachable set. The model is non-dimensionalized, so it can be parameterized by just two values, the maximum and the minimum thrust. We made an online demonstration to illustrate this. The plot shows a reachable set of positions in blue and the path of a particular drone with a dashed line. The optimal control inputs are all functions of two switching times, TR and TT, which are controlled by the locator. The optimal control inputs that generate the boundary of the reachable set are drawn in bold colors on both the XZ plot and the TRTT control inputs. The drone rotates at maximum angular speed for time less than TR and flies with no rotation afterward. The drone moves with minimum thrust for time less than TT and maximum thrust afterward. The candidate optimal control inputs are always either turning at the maximum rate are flying straight, which means that the UR input is always either 1, negative 1, or 0. The optimal thrust inputs are always either full or minimum thrust. To compute the final position of the drone, the pitch is integrated and the accelerations are double integrated. This model has a natural extension to 3D. To validate our model and hardware, we flew candidate optimal control inputs with a racing drone and recorded the resulting trajectories. Somehow, the drone survived these. <laughs>